with the power of your eyes and your voice, you will be able to create an unprecedented stream of RVUs rivaling any of your medical and surgical colleagues. You are now listening to Sorel Gar MD. Sorel Gar MD, how to kill it in radiology residency. Congratulations, you aced the test. You are now a radiology resident. Something you thought you aspired to be, but like so many things in life, it's not what you thought. You walk into work and you don't know how to act. While your colleagues are taking care of patients, running codes, placing central lines, and saving lives, you can barely dictate a set of plain films. Maybe you can go home and feel like a complete failure, but it's all good. I'm going to show you how to kill it in radiology residency. So, step one is get organized. All right? Radiology is massive. Just as our world continues to become more complex and specialized, radiology is becoming even more complex and specialized. You're going to need a roadmap, a framework, a structure. All right. Personally, I used a book. Now, I don't want to name names, but it rhymes with more radiology. So that's what I used because that's what I want, more radiology. So you have to know the core disciplines of radiology. Thoracic imaging, abdominal imaging, breast imaging, neuroimaging, IR, nukes, and musculoskeletal. You need to have this framework cold in your mind. All right. So when you hear about a study or a case or whatever it is in radiology, you need to start deciding where do I put this piece of information within this framework. And as you go deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole, you'll see that each specialty has its own subdivisions. So for example, neuroimaging has brain, spine, head, and neck. IR has venous access, G-tubes, and oncology. You need to start categorizing and subcategorizing every single radiological thought that goes to your brain. And you're going to have to learn how to reaccess it over and over again during your career. That's step one. Step two is, when you hear an interesting tidbit of information, write it down. Those are the direct words of Dr. Julio Palmas, the IR who invented stents. Start writing down every single meaningful piece of information you hear. Create your own textbook of notes. You could create your own textbook if you only started writing notes down now and categorizing them. In fact, what do you think Prometheus Lionheart did? But you got to be persistent. Start taking notes even when you don't feel like it, even when you're tired, even when you're not understanding what the lecture is about. Think really hard and try to write down at least a few words. Step three is don't make the same mistake twice. I guarantee this will happen to you in residency. You'll see a case at conference. You will know that case by the end of conference, and then you will miss that case at some time point in the future when you're on call. What you need to do is start processing these cases on the first go round. When you see a case being presented, write it down, make a note, and process it. Add that pathology to your search pattern. Make it so you don't have to deal with that problem ever again. Engage your attendings. Probably one of the reasons you're in radiology is you don't like to bullshit. You remember being on medicine rounds in med school. The chatty residents spent 20 minutes discussing the ins and outs of vent settings. They didn't even notice that the patient was dying on the ventilator. You stayed silent because you were waiting for that conversation to end, but staying silent is not how you get ahead in radiology. Find someone that's like you and engage them. Ask them about cases. Ask them about modalities. Ask them how they read cases. Show them cases that you find interesting. It's going to take work. Find someone approachable in the field of interest and form that relationship. Make those mistakes. Have some awkward conversations. Get past all that. Get to that point where they can see the real value in you. Show them that you're a person that's seriously interested in radiology and knows how to make a diagnosis. Get them to see you shine, and then when you need them, hit them up for a recommendation. All right? That's your radiology friend for life. Step five is treat radiology like what the f*** it is, a business, a ruthless, highly compensating business. All right? Radiology is power. Information is power. Knowledge is power. In your residency, you have in front of you the key to untapped and unlimited power. All right? Are you going to let this opportunity pass you by? Grab a fresh cup of coffee or two or three and walk into the first day of the rest of your life. All right? With the power of your eyes and your voice, you will be able to create an unprecedented stream of RBUs rivaling any of your medical and surgical colleagues. All right? Practice these five tenets and you will be on the path to killing it in radiology residency. That's my take anyways. Thanks for hearing me out. It's a real bomb day.